Okay, here we go. A drift. All right, that sounds good. What's going on? Here we are. things stirring around in my spirit that I have to write to settle myself and find God's wisdom in the midst of chaos. I'm scared I won't be strong enough to face the things we might have to face in the coming weeks and months. But then I remember how much grace God gave us to walk out everything we've already faced. I've never felt completely overwhelmed and I've never felt alone. So no matter what comes next, and I truly cannot even begin to guess how this will go. I know we will be carried. I want to shout out, look what God is about to do. Watch how he delivers Joel. And at the same time, I want to roll up in a silent ball and wait it out with fear and trembling, so aware of all my doubt but yet convinced that my doubt is insignificant compared to God's faithfulness. Okay, Amy, well, uh, I didn't really understand half of that, to be uh, quite frank with you there, but let's move on to the next scene. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm going really fast, aren't I? Oh, I'm like a thing that can fly, right? Yeah, I can like fly and shit. What's this? This is a room, right? I'm going to fly up here. What's going on? Where's everyone at? Huh? So, how long will we be in California? Um, whew, I don't actually know. That's kind of why we're packing up everything. It's because if the trial works really well, then maybe we'll stay in California for a really long time. Like, as long as it keeps helping Joel, then we want to stay and do the best we can for him and stay there where he's getting help. But if the medicine starts to not work, as soon as it's not helping him, I promise we'll come back home. Are we going to Disneyland? Yeah, of course. What do you think, Caleb? Are you going to feed him for someone? I can barely hear them anyway. I don't know. What's this here? What am I looking at? Whoa! This thing is scary as hell, though. Oh, her expectation is so maddening sometimes. Do you know what she wrote on the eve of Joel's first surgery? The one back in January when we first found the tumor. I seriously feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'm pleading for God to spare his life. And I'm tempted to despair because self-inspection leads me to conclude I shouldn't expect much of anything. <sighs> and yet my wife is expecting a surprise party from the Lord. Replete with presents and supernatural miracles. Alright, well I don't get too much of this picture right here. What's this? Oh, can I play on this? Hell yeah. I'm playing a game in a game. What's going on? Oh, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, it's really sad now. Alright, where are we at? Ooh. Hop in bed, boys. Let's go. Boys, get in bed. Oh. Can you at least tell us a story? Hmm. Uh, um, sure. Okay. This is the story of a very brave knight named Joel. Joel's a baby knight? Yes. 
Joel the baby knight, but he's also Joel the very brave knight, and he was being chased by a dragon named Cancer. Oh, do oh I get the ghost so badass! Oh my good. Oh. Do I have to hop this? Oh. Because of a streamer? Mm hmm. Where does the dragon live? Um. In a forest. Oh. Uh uh, yeah, beat that, beat that. Let's go, Joel. Let's kick some ass. Let's kick some cancer. Is the dragon big? Very big. Oh! This isn't good. Does the dragon breathe fire? Oh! So much fire. Oh, that was awful. Okay, now I know what to do. That came in way too fast. Holy shit. So, Joel has armor. Oh, yeah, like, he does. A sword and a shield and stuff? Ooh, or maybe a spear? I don't know how to. How do I attack? Ooh, hello there! That was. That was. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. So, so brave Sir Joel with his sword and his shield and his awesome spear and his super jumping ability was, Ooh, that was being chased by a dragon named Cancer. Ooh, did you see that jump shot? Does he, have? Uh, he also has grapes. That's not a super. That's what? It's the best superpower. Can you guys know how good it seems? Yeah, it's kind of like help. Yeah, it's kind of like help. This is pretty sweet, I cannot lie. You know, and he's not the only one who's ever tried to fight this dragon. You know, some very brave knights have fought this dragon and lost. And Ooh. some are able to drive the dragon off. And then they can go home and they can quit fighting for a while. And the kingdom is Joel's been fighting this dragon for a long time, huh? A long time. But Joel found a nice empty cave where he could rest. You know, my boy Joel's got hops up in here. And man. it seems like the dragon couldn't find him. The dragon's gonna be in here, though. Guarantee it. But it's just bridge. when he thought that the danger was past, the dragon found his hiding spot and came after him in the cave. Oh. Well, yeah, that dragon's going to kill Joel. Joel's going to lose. Why do you say that? Because mm. Joel is just a baby. Babies can't kill dragons. Yeah, you like that. But look at this. I'm kicking ass. Baby Let's go. can't kill a dragon. Yeah, he can. I'm kicking his ass but right now. That's the best part of this story. God fights for Joel. He oh. fights that dragon cancer right with Joel. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so that hard. God can win, even if Joel can't. That's yeah, give me that. grace. Oh. This is like harder than like a World of Warcraft raid, man. Wait, do I play WoW? Alright, here we go. I can spam something. I can imagine well, trying to do this. Well, that's him from Truth Man. He had some cancer. Wasn't God fighting for him? Didn't he have it? Who am I now? Who's God fighting for Tim? Tim fought so well. He was so great. So strong. God let him rest. It may have seemed like the dragon won because Tim died. We know that Tim's in heaven. That he's with God. And that God is so Yo, proud of him. I didn't get to. Oh, come on, I wanted to beat the dragon! Come on! Oh, do I have to do it over again? Or what am I doing? What is it? What's going on? What, uh. What am I supposed to do? Oh, go up? Okay, I could have definitely have killed that dragon. I'm so mad. Alright, where to now, boy? What are we doing? Wanna go up here? Let's go up here. Let's see what's up up here. Where we at? Hello? 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 H
Hello? Amy? Amy, chill. <coughs> oh! Ryan! Oh, Ryan, get in the boat! Come on, Ryan. <coughs> Stop fucking around. I can't. Why? You have to, you'll drown! Come on. We're already drowning. This is really sad. How can you sit there like that? Despair doesn't help anything. <coughs> Neither does false hope. And I'm not despairing. How can you say false hope? Yes, you're point. drowning! Well, you're missing your oars! And what? you don't even know where you're going! And yet you're so sure you're gonna get there! It's better than drowning! Well, I don't know about that. Enjoy floating on the surface like you always do. There's nothing deep about drowning. Just get in the boat! You have to let me feel this! I like this guy. Someone has to. That's not fair. I love him as much as you do. I just really believe we're going to be okay. No, oh, there he goes. Damn it. Oh my. This is getting crazy. This is getting sad. It's going. The ending's going to be. It's going to be tough. It has to be. Where am I at? Where are we at? Amy, what are you doing over there? I need some help. Come rescue me. Wait, what am I... Why am I looking at this bottle? Oh. Dear Mr. Barnett, I'm not sure if this letter will get to you. However, I felt the need to write to you and your company. Uh, my daughter recently passed away after a long battle with cancer. And she was only 14 years old. In our short time with her, we saw her transformed from our wonderful little girl into a sickly child who spent far too many days in her bed full of pain. And we worried that we would never see her happy again. Well, the hospital gave her access to a computer and she found her way to your game. I'm unsure <laughs> really what it is, but um, from the day that she began playing Legends of Terrace, our daughter changed. She sat up, uh, she was excited, she smiled again. She told us all these stories about uh, what she was doing in the lands, all the things she wanted to do in real life but was too sick to try. Um, she swam in the ocean, rode a horse, uh, she had birthdays, bought a house, and she went on adventures with these new friends from all over the world. I don't know how to explain the happiness that it brought to us. For a short while, our daughter returned to us. She'd regained the wonder and an optimism that the illness had taken from her. She talked about the strange lands that you had made, the creatures, uh, magical things and adventures she went on. She lost her battle for life. But you helped bring our daughter back for a short. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, oh! Well, I can't read all of these. Oh my, that, that will take way too long. I'm sorry, I can't read all of these. I'm assuming there. Let me just look up one more. Let me just see if they're like all having to do with like. I'm reminded that having faith does not mean denying what is happening to Joel. Faith means knowing exactly what is happening and also knowing that God has a truth that trumps every other fact. Okay, Amy, you gotta, you gotta stop, right? You're getting crazy. Dear Julie, thank you for your letter. I'm Okay, no, this is like, this is cool, man. If I, if I had more time to, you know, read it, I definitely would. I, I just want to time. Alright, what am I doing over here? Am I find somewhere else? More bottles. Great. So I mean, yeah, a lot of people like a lot of young kids, you know, get diagnosed with cancer. It's terrible. Amy, mean, where are you going? All right, can you take at least take me with you so I'll have to? Oh, here we go again. We're gonna get a new game. Oh, 
Oh yeah, swim to the surface. There you go. He's not drowning. He's fine. Look at him. He's swimming like a champ. He couldn't get to the surface, so he just swims down. I'm so lost. Oh my goodness.